everybody, this is Matt's Movies coming at you with my review of Power Rangers, the 2017 movie that isn't far off from a superhero movie by any stretch of the imagination, and frankly, did not know what it wanted to be in my personal opinion. This movie was totally all over the place. There was a lot of stuff that was handled, like trying to get laughs, and it seemed like they were it was more in spirit with the classic TV show that was, is very over the top and goofy and, and trying to have fun, and then they also had characters that were very very dark and it just felt like totally there were so many shifts I mean you, know, you were almost getting whiplash I don't think that this movie was a success I mean I know it wasn't a, that big of a success financially but I, I mean as far as actual filmmaking goes I don't, don't think this movie was a success largely because of the confusion of what type of movie that they were trying to make and also because you know, I thought some of the characters were rather underwhelming and underwritten disappointingly so because they should have been pivotal roles and that was a major disappointment for me too. So getting into that, so everybody knows the story of Power Rangers, five teenagers, they get the ability to turn into Power Rangers and fight giant monsters, so we won't go too far into that. I'm just going to look at the characters more than anything else. And right off the hop, the one that I liked by far the most was Billy. I thought he was a very interesting character. Having him tell everybody that he was on the spectrum was, it was very unique, and it was very, very cool to see them add that kind of element to the story. It gave it a bit more unique and it basically gave it a bit more variety instead of these all just being various teens instead of him just being a nerdy guy to, to see him have portrayed in that fashion I thought was fantastic and I also just love the idea of other people who are on the spectrum having a character to relate to I feel like there might be some people that this film would be one of their favorites for that reason alone and I, I you know I can absolutely respect that and I thought that the portrayal of the character was great I really liked how you know he was didn't get some of the social cues and all that kind of stuff and you know I'm no expert by interest the imagination but that all seems to be within the realm of reality and also I just liked that he was very very likable and just an all-around great character by far my favorite and most interesting element of this film you had Jason the red late ranger the guy who was the leader I thought I thought he was solid I enjoyed the way they portrayed his character where they set I thought they set him up very very well where they, they have him commit this this crime and then not give away uh, give like give up any of his his buddies I thought that that was a very very good way of setting up who he is, what kind of morals he has, and how he, you know, all about taking care of those that he cares about. I thought that, that, I thought that it was quite ingenious, to be honest. I thought, you know, it was a very, very good way of setting up a character like him. I thought Kimberly was pretty good. I thought that the, the her character was very interesting. You know, she wasn't just like the cookie cutter pink ranger that I saw back in the day. He was doing gymnastics and all that kind of stuff. She had a, a little bit of an edge to her, but it wasn't, you know, over the top. I thought it was handled very well. I thought she was one of the more interesting characters as well. Unfortunately, I thought the other two rangers were completely useless. I, I didn't think they had much character development whatsoever. I mean, they gave Zach the whole storyline with his mother which was fine and well handled I thought but aside from that I had no real feeling for who he was as a person aside, aside from what he was going through Trini was just you know this Ali Sheedy and Breakfast Club style character that was just kind of off in the corner doing her own thing and you know when you have a t have basically a team movie if you have two of them that are underserved in my personal view that's eh, a pretty major issue I will say I thought that they were that they handled their their costuming pretty great their suits when they got in their suits were, were, were was handled quite well I hated the fact that they spend almost the, the entire fight with their masks off so you can see them it's the same issue with Venom and the Spider-Man 3 I always feel that that's just a lazy way to try to make sure that the, the characters they've set up are on screen but if you haven't set them well up well enough that they can't first off communicate through their voice and second off communicate through the situation that they're are these characters? I think you've done a crap job, and and you know I thought that that was a major disappointment because I thought that their their suits were well designed. Then you had Alpha Five thrown in there, who you know was very much played for comedy, and I thought worked and didn't work. You know, was some of the lines weren't funny. I mean, Bill Hader is a is a very very talented dude, so I thought that was a solid solid choice to have him 
portray the character, but not all, everything he did worked for me personally. It, it didn't necessarily fit with the spirit of, of the, the character as I know it, and I'm far from a uh, Power Rangers expert by any stretch of the imagination. I've seen like 15 episodes, but you know, I still recall it. And I know that obviously they're going to have to update the character for this new world that's a little more gritty, but at the same time, I, I, I thought that they didn't, if they were going to do that, they didn't do it enough. It was, it was, the, it was kind of in this middle ground where it was trying to be half pride and it just didn't work for me. And then you have Zordon. I mean, Brian Cranston is the man, of course. I love him in pretty much everything. But I didn't necessarily love the way that they handled the character where, you know, there was this big, if will, what kind of motivations does he have? Is he just putting, putting these people together so he can get out of his, his situation? I thought that was, I didn't really like any of that. I thought that, you know, he played the character as written as well as anybody could. His voiceover was compelling. I never really thought of it that is one of his skills but clearly it is after watching this movie but I don't know the character didn't necessarily work with for me on all levels and then you had Rita Repulsa I think Elizabeth Banks is a very very talented actress and I thought as written she pulled this character off perfectly I just don't understand her character in this movie like I said before this movie is just totally all over the place and her character is frightening and great and really really entertaining in a different movie like she is so dark and so dastardly and so lethal and yet this movie is you know so light in so many other scenes it, it just didn't her character felt like she was in a completely different movie than everybody else and she was great in that movie but she wasn't in this one and that just it just didn't work for me. Overall, you know, there was elements of this film that I thought were, were pretty decent. I, you know, I liked the movie, basically. I, I enjoyed watching it, is the best way I can describe it. There, I, at no point was I watching it and being like, well, that this is terrible or anything like that. I was taking note of some big inconsistencies as far as tone speaking, but, you know, I was never, I was never finding myself unentertained, but... Eh, I don't know that I would ever really necessarily want to watch it again, but when I think about it, I'll probably have a half smile. So that those are my thoughts on the film. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you're a huge fan, if you thought it was underwhelming, whatever. Other than that, please hit that like button, hit that share button. It makes it much more likely that other people will see this and come and check it out, which is something I would absolutely love. So I love talking to people about movies. And speaking of which, if you're new here, if you just haven't done it yet, please, please, please hit subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can find out when I get to put out a new video and let me know what you think. Other than that, have yourself a good day.